with the powers of the animals and the elements, you will soar as the falcon soars, run with the speed of gazelles, and command the elements of sky and earth. 3,000 years later, a young science teacher dug up this lost treasure and found she was heir to the secrets of Isis. And so, unknown to even her closest friends, Rick Mason and Cindy Lee, she became a dual person, Andrea Thomas, teacher. Oh, my Isis. And Isis, dedicated foe of evil, defender of the weak, champion of truth and justice. You've noticed that, have you? Yeah, like Mom only buys just what we need. And I only buy what we don't need. Mm, something like that. Well, when Mother gets back to town, she'll explain that to you. Hi, Jimmy. Who's your friend? Oh, that's Jimmy Nolan. He's a boy in my math class. I got a feeling he likes you. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> Him. Why didn't you? I don't want to get involved. I can't afford to. You're afraid of the police. Let me try and understand. I just got out of prison. I'm waiting for a new job to come through. You don't have to explain. You deserve an explanation. But I just can't give it to you right now. I'll try to that underheat the solution neutralized? I presume you're making a serious study of the sports section. Wrong. The travel section. Oh? Planning a trip? Oh, I was just dreaming about a vacation in the South Seas aboard a three-masted schooner. <laughs> so you saw that adventure movie last night, too. You know my every move, don't you? You know, you should have been a detective. No, thank you. I prefer to teach chemistry. But just think, Miss Thomas, if you were a detective, you could solve all the mysterious burglaries around town. I haven't heard about those. I haven't heard about those. I haven't heard about those. It was on the radio. They're all over the morning papers. Industrial diamonds worth thousands and no clues to the thieves. Well, I can't believe it's anyone from around here. It must be an out-of-town group. You see? You're already acting like a detective. All right. But I still prefer to teach chemistry. Right, Tut? Ah! Right, Tut? Ah! Right, Tut? Ah! Hi. Hi. I'm Tom Jenkins. Can I help you with anything? Yes, I'm looking for Chuck Nelson. Does he live here? Yeah. There's a man here to see you. Tom Jenkins, Mr. Nelson. I'm with the insurance company, remember? Yes, Mr. Jenkins, I remember you very well. I'm investigating some burglaries which concern my company. I can't help you with that. Oh, I think you can. Why? Why me? Well, because these burglaries are involved with industrial diamonds. So? All the jobs were pulled fast and clean. No clues. Just the way you used to do it. And that made you think of me. Well, I don't know anything about them. Well, maybe not, but it's my job to ask. Well, I don't have to listen. Well, not to me, but if I tell the police what I think, it may give them reason to make you a suspect. Now, there was a burglary committed last night. Where were you? I was at home. All night. My wife's out of town, and I had to take care of my daughter. You never left the house? That's correct. I see. All right for now. Oh, thank you, Mr. Nelson. Goodbye. Bye, Miss Nelson. You weren't home last night. 
I had to tell him that. You always taught me to tell the truth. Why did you lie to him? I had no choice. That insurance investigator, Mr. Jenkins, is the man who helped send me to prison. And you think he can do it again? But how can he if you just tell the truth? He'd never believe me. Now, why don't you go on to school? All right. <laughs> Like you? Hey, what's the matter? I, I don't want to talk about it. Not even to me? No. Well, then how about Miss Thomas? I, I don't want to bother her with my problems. Why not? I tell her stuff about me all the time. Here's your chance. Hi, girls. Hi. What's so serious? Jenny has something she wants to ask you. Ask away, Jenny. It's, it's really personal, Miss Thomas. I'll leave you two to talk. See you in the lab. Okay. Bye. Miss Thomas, what do you do if you're not sure, but someone you love you think is doing something wrong? If you're not sure, Jenny, you should give them the benefit of your love. Why not believe the best instead of the worst? I've tried, but I can't. Want to tell me about it? it? It's, well, it's about my father. He... It's still hard for me to believe that about her father. Right. You knew he'd been in prison. Well, sure, the whole school knew about it. He served his time. He just didn't want to get involved again. Woman's intuition? Partly. You should have seen him at the last PTA meeting. He thanked me for helping Jenny with her work. He told me he never wanted to leave his wife and Jenny again. And you believed him? The way he looked at them, you would have believed him, too. Well, let's hope you're right. Yeah. And that he doesn't do anything to make matters worse. Hey, why did I offer to help paint your apartment? Because I promised to make you a great dinner. Hey, Jenny, let me help you with those. Thank you, Daddy. You feel better. Much. And to prove it to you, I'm going to make you a terrific dinner. Yeah, what a nice surprise. Well, I want to make it up to you for the way I've been behaving. Well, I'm glad you changed your mind about me. But how would you like to cook that dinner for me up at Lake Horton? We're going away? Right now. Your bag's all packed and already in the car. I thought you might enjoy a little vacation in the woods. <laughs> money come from? A friend of mine. He paid me back some money he owed me. Does that have anything to do with why we're leaving so quickly? No, sweetheart. I just wanted to get away for a while. Dad, do you want to get away or run away? What do you think? Come on, let's go. Did she call in sick? No, I checked the office. Should I try calling her? No, let's just go over to her house. There's no one home. I'm going to check next door. OK, Andrea. Do you think something might have happened, Mr. Mason? No, Cindy, I'm sure there's a logical explanation for it. We were supposed to do our homework together last night. She didn't even call. The neighbor said that Jenny and her father went away. It looked like they were going camping. You wouldn't know where, would you, Cindy? Not really. But wait a minute. Jenny told me that her father took her camping before. I think she said in the mountains. Try to remember where. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Keep thinking, Cindy. decided to go camping. Especially on a day when she had a chemistry picture. I got it. The north point of Lake Horton. That's where Jenny's dad took her camping last time. Hmm. Listen, why don't you two go ahead? I'll catch up with you in a minute. Oh, 
by the ISIS. Oh, Zephyr winds which blow on high, lift me now so I can fly. Cook you the best steak you ever tasted. I'm really not very hungry. Is something still bothering you? I can't get it out of my head. What? That you lied about last night. Where did you go? I told you. I was out walking and thinking. Yeah, but I... Now, now Jenny, that's enough. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Where are you going? Out for a walk. I have some thinking to do, too. Welcome, Jenny. You know my name. I know much more than that. I know about the problem with your father. Have faith. Believe in him. I want to, but... Jenny, sometimes things aren't what they appear to be. You must try to understand him. I will try, Isis. I really will. Good girl, Jenny. <laughs> What's up, Cindy? I just got a phone call from Jenny. And what is it? Is there more trouble? No, everything's okay between her and her dad. I'm glad to hear that. So am I. And we're all invited to a barbecue at their home on Saturday. Can you make it? Sure, I can. Andrea? You bet. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Chuck, can I give you a hand? Jenkins, what are you doing here? Oh, I thought I'd drop by and see if I couldn't be of some help to you. Like you were when you helped the police send me to prison? Chuck, I'm not here to question you. Why are you here? I don't know if you had anything to do with those burglaries or not. Now, I think there's some room for doubt. Well, that's the first cheerful word I've had. Chuck, I am only interested in catching the guilty man. Well, how can I help? Well, I want to set a trap for the real thief. Now, my company insures some of the biggest industrial diamond concerns in the city. Well, wait a minute. There's no way you can cover all those spots at the same time. Maybe we don't have to. What do you mean? Well, maybe we can figure out where the next burglary is going to take place. That's why you came to me. You're the expert. Help me, you help yourself. Isn't this police work? I'll fill in Sergeant Connors every step of the way. Now, what do you say? Well, I want to talk it over with my friends, but... Okay, you can count on me. Great. I'll be in touch. <laughs> and I just couldn't stand by and take a chance that a possibly innocent man might be sent back to prison. Mighty nice of you, Mr. Jenkins. Well, thanks, Rick. He really believes in my father, doesn't he? He's sure trying to help. I want to believe in my dad, too. I really do. That's right, Jenny. You just keep on believing. Well, it's all here. Size of shipments received. Location, security system, every company that's most likely to be burglarized. That's your complete. 
Uh, Chuck, what's the next place most likely to get hit? I'd say the Landon Company's the best bet. Why? Well, they just received a big new shipment. The factory's isolated, and they have an alarm system that's easy to knock out. Well, when this is all over, I'm going to have to tell them about that. <laughs> <laughs> what's your plan? Well, I'm going to inform the police, and they're going to stake out the Landing Company and let them do the rest. You think you'll get your man? Absolutely. Now, this thief's been hitting these places about once every two weeks, and he's due now. So, Chuck, when I hear anything, you'll hear from me. Okay? Chuck, I have good news. The police just got a tip about the thief. A Sunday's the day he's going to hit. The Landing Company. Match tomorrow? That's right, and I've got it on the best authority. And before long, you're really going to be a free man. Sounds great. Okay. You bet. I'll see you. Peterson, somebody on him understand. That's not what you told Tom Jenkins. I lied to them for a reason. Why? So, so you could go to the burglary and take the diamonds for yourself? So I could capture the thief myself. I don't understand. The way I figure it, that's where he'll really strike. Now, trust me. Dad, you have to go. Please don't. I'm sorry, Jenny, but I have to do it my way. Even if it means going back to prison? Roger. I've got four details on lookout watch in the landing company. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Not yet. I wonder if we've got the right place. Of course. Assuming they gave us the right location. Why wouldn't he? I don't know. But we'd better go call him and find out. Hello, Tom. Nelson. Everything's coming clear all of a sudden. Fast, efficient. Nice, neat job, Tom. Well, thanks, Chuck. That's a real compliment from the expert. Now, just stay put, Jenny. Don't go anywhere. I'll call you later. Fine. We've got trouble. Jenny told me your father went to the Peterson Company. What shall we do? I'm not sure. Tell Sergeant Conner to move his men over to the Peterson Company. Right. I'm on my way. Wonder what the police will have to say about this. You think they're gonna believe you? I'll take my chances. Oh, the diamonds? Yeah, they're right here. Now I'm the hero, Chuck. I caught you in there, red-handed with the diamonds. I wondered why you were so anxious to help me. Yeah, it was me all the time. You're going to go back to prison, and in a few years, when everything's been forgotten, I'll retire a rich man. Shall we? Slide over, Nelson. Tom? Isis! That's far enough. I've caught the burglar. It was Chuck Nelson, after all. No way. I just heard you admit that you did it. <laughs>
on the telephone? My wife. She called to say she'll be home by noon tomorrow, Jenny. Good. And some more good news. I got the job. I start next week. Oh, great. great. Daddy, forgive me. I know now that things aren't always what they seem. Jenny, faith is hard to hold on to. It takes work. But in the end, having faith in someone you love is worth all the effort. See, Jenny, it all worked out for the best. Come on, everybody, sit down so I can serve my world-famous hamburger. Oh. Tell me, do you think we have time to finish painting my apartment now? Now? Yes. Mr. Nelson, you better make our two hamburgers to go. they've done something wrong. If they have, it'll come out soon enough. But if they haven't, they need someone who will believe in them when others won't. That's what being a true friend really means. See you next week.